Hello, this is Brian Nordhaven with Hobby Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LD Power 2305 2600 kV motors that they offer. We have already looked at the 2300 kV version of this and I've had really good luck with them. So much so that I'm uh, giving them a shot on my uh, one of my racing quads right now. I've actually been running them for about a, a little over a week now. And I've had some pretty good results with the 2300s and so far with the 2600s. Um, Give you a little background on this quad, it's running a Flip 32F4, modified XS30As for uh, so I can run D-Shot 600 on it and so far I've had really good luck with them. Um, I really do like them. I haven't taken any really good hits on these ones but the uh, 2300s on the other quad I have have taken a, a fair bit of beating and are doing quite well. Um, so I'd like to just run them on the bench today and uh, see how they do. If you want to see a more like in-depth look at the motors uh i'm just gonna say i'm gonna go to the watch the other video it's pretty much the same they still have the uh screws that are not quite the right length for four millimeter arms which is kind of annoying it has a five millimeter hollow shaft uh active cooling uh really nice machining and nice anodizing on it uh thicker bottom plate than some of the other ld power motors uh n52 magnets that are curved directional prop nuts they weigh uh, 28.9 grams um yeah, again, if you want to take a closer look, I uh, have another video where I did the 2300s. Today, I just want to see uh, see the difference on the uh, 2600 kV version of these and uh, see how well they perform compared to those. Because uh, I've been really pleased with the 2305 sized motors. So, we'll try these uh, higher kV ones out and see how it does. Alrighty, just going to be doing the testing the way I normally do. First, I'll give you a quick rundown. Voltage, amperage and how many grams of thrust is being produced, which just turned off. I will uh, usually run a battery for uh, three props, three sets of props, and then uh, I'll switch it out. Um, the props we're gonna be running on this motor will be the Dow V35040, the Dow 5045 V2, like semi bullnose or bullnose. Then probably run the uh, 50 are the Racecraft 5040 try, the Racecraft 5040 quad, and then we'll give you HQ 5040 uh, try S tip a, a run. I've got the uh, Crazy Pony 5052 props. If you don't know this prop, it's got kind of a similar cut to the uh, S tips on the inside, but look kind of like the Racecraft 5051s on the outside. Then we'll give the uh, Dow 5045. Try a bullnose a shot. Then the, uh, well, that was actually a Racecraft uh, 5045 try bullnose. Uh, and then the Racecraft 5051s. And uh, if the motor's running fairly cool with most of the other props, I might give the uh, 6x45 a try, but uh, we'll see. Um, I'm probably going to run these two on uh, 5S afterwards and maybe even 6S. But we'll see. All right, first up is going to be the Dow 5040 V3. Um, I run it up to uh, 250 grams of thrust, and then we'll do some calculations later on for, for efficiency and stuff like that. Um, and then I run it at 50% uh, throttle through a through a flight controller. This is a little B30 running 14.8 um, for the VLL. I then go uh, wide open throttle, yeah, a little under five seconds, probably don't want to push these motor too hard generally. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how I'll be doing the testing. So the uh, 5040 V3 is up first. Next up is the 5045 Dow V2 bullnose.
Spacecraft 5040 try. HQ 5040 S-tip try. Racecraft 5040 quad blades. Crazy Pony, 50-52s. Racecraft 5045 Tri Bullnose. Racecraft 5051s. So, amp draw was a little high on the 5051s and the 5045s than I like to see, but it is a higher KV motor. I'm going to run the uh, 5040 tries and the 50, Racecraft 5040 quads on 5S. 5040 try, running 5S. Racecraft 5040 quad blade 5S. Yeah. 
All right, I already saw that. 52 amps, that's uh, yeah, that's really warmed down. Ooh, yeah, that's really hot, yep. So, a little too much KV for 5S in these setups. Um, I have been running the 2300 KVs on 5S quite a bit with the little BS 30 amp, little B, B -A -Holly S 30 amp ESCs. I've had really good luck with them so far. I haven't had any real problems with it except for uh, I blew up one ESC when I hit a uh, ghost branch. So apparently on the 2600 KVs, you really probably should just stick with uh, stick with 4S. So these are definitely too much for 5S for the motor on this run. Like the motor is, wow, it is really hot. And the ESC is also extremely hot. I don't think it would have lasted too long in the air with that. But uh, to give you a chance to know, like I said, these motors definitely can take quite a bit. Um, and like I said, the little bees can definitely take quite a bit too especially the 30 amp one. So I'll uh, go get the numbers and like I said, I'll have a link below with the Google Docs when I work, work out all the efficiency of everything and uh, we'll see how they uh, how they turn out compared to the 2300 and some of the other motors. Um, I'm still hoping to get my hands on a 2207, an F40 or an F60. And now I really want to get an F82. And I'm also interested in the uh, F40 V2s. See how they compare because they, uh, they are a little bit more pricier than these motors, but, uh, but not by too much. Um, but so far I've been really happy with these in the 2300 form and in the 2600 form on the race quad. So thanks for watching.